Hello YouTube peoples, Fusion Designs here and today I'm going to show you part 4 of how to make a YouTube channel background. Now, gladly this is the end of the series and hopefully I've helped you all out during this series. So for those of you who are just joining, joining in now, um, part 1, part 2, part 3 are in the description below. So check them out first if you need some help. But for those of you who have been following this series, this is part 4. So open up your GIMP program and um, get out the file that you saved for your background that you've um, done in part 3. So once you've done that, um, we'll start off by putting in the text that you've made in part 1. So open as layers find the text um, think it's in here sorry I just have to find it there it is and open it up and bring it to the top layer Okay. Um, it will not allow me bring it to the top layer for some reason, but that's okay. There's an easy way around it. So just rotate it, and in the angle, put in minus ninety, and click rotate. Then it'll rotate it. Then I'm going to resize it to make it a bit smaller so it'll fit in well, and then bring it out to the side then click scale now I'm just going to move it in and let it sit nicely in the corner and there you go so now I'm going to put my um, logo in it if you want to do that you can too it's just a little trademark just to say like yeah I made this <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird way of looking at it, but I, I just like to put my brand on things. So I'm going to select mine. So this is my logo for now anyways. Still won't let me move it up, so I'll have to redo that. Um, undo the open layers if this happens to you. Then I'm going to move up here, click on the top layer, then open up, open as layers. Sorry, I really don't understand why that's happening. It's been happening recently for the last couple of days and it's actually quite annoying. Sometimes it just will not allow you move your layer. But that's okay. Um, cause just click on do, move up to the top layer and then open it and it'll work fine. So I'm going to put my logo in there. If you're wondering what my logo is, it's a D with an F backwards for Fusion Designs just for those of you who don't know that. I'm going to resize it and move it up and scale it. Now I'm going to rotate it a bit just to give it a bit of style and rotate. Oops, I opened up a program by accident. Oh well. So just move that down. And there looks good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave it there. Now once you've done that, you're almost done. All you need to do is make a new layer again. And make sure this is at the top again. Then, click the blend tool. Have the gradient on FG to transparent have it on white or whatever color you'd like to use and click around the end and drag up a bit now that'll just let it fade away to nothing so yeah I think we're done here um, not the best thing I might add in a few paint brushes um, yeah 
So, yeah, I think it turned out quite well. I'm pretty pleased. I was going to add in a few bits and bobs to make it look that bit better. Um, I'm just messing around experimenting, so yeah, don't 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 follow what I'm doing here. I'm just checking out things and I'll see if it looks good. Now I'll have to make a new layer below that. It still won't let me move my layers. It's quite annoying actually. So, yeah, I'm just messing about, um, so I'm going to put it about here, looks good. Yeah, I'll put it here, new layer, and there. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm done. Um, I'll show you the image now, just to see, there it is. Yeah, just to give you a look, and, uh, yeah, I think it turned out well. So now, uh, part 5, I'll show you how to put it on your channel and make it look awesome. How to make it look fit in right, and how to tone down the transparency of the YouTube background that you have and all that. Just weird things that you can do on YouTube to make it look that bit better. So yeah, part 5 is coming up now.